Okay, now moving to question number 3. Let P1 and P2 be two given planes, then which of the following statements is R true? Four options are given. So, let us check out what we have to do in this question. First one is talking about the line of intersection of P1 and P2 has direction ratios 1, 2, minus 1. So, we have to talk about the direction ratios of line of intersection of two planes. Second option is the line this one is perpendicular to the line of intersection of P1 and P2. Similar type option number 3 is the acute angle between two planes and the option number 4 is another plane P3 is used with given point and the direction ratios as perpendicular to the line of intersection of P1 and P2 then we have to find the distance of point 2, 1, 1 from that plane P3. So, after summarizing it, let us start this one. So, the two planes given to us are 2x plus y minus z equals 3. Let us write down. Two x plus y minus z is equal to three, and the other plane is x plus two y plus z is equal to two. So these are the two planes denoted as P one and P two. Correct. Direction ratios of line of intersection of the two planes that can be obtained using the determinant method. Let's say i, j, k. 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 2, 1. Simplifying, we get 3i minus 3j plus 3k. So, the direction ratios of the line are 3, minus 3 and 3. Therefore, direction ratios are 3, minus 3 and 3 or we can also call as 1, minus 1, 1. This is clear? Okay. Option 1 says the direction ratios are 1, 2, minus 1. So, clearly this option is wrong. Second, the line this one is perpendicular to the line of intersection of P1 and P2. First convert this line into the standard form. The first term is x minus 4 by 3 divided by 3 taking 3 common. Second term, this one can be written as y minus 1 by 3 divided by 3 with negative sign because we have taken minus also common. Now, we see here the direction ratio of the direction ratios of the given line are 3 minus 3 and 3 means the two lines are parallel. So, option B is also wrong. Third, angle between two planes let us say the angle be theta, then cos theta equals 2 plus 2 minus 1 divided by square root of 6 into square root of 6 that is 1 by 2. Hence, we find angle theta as 60 degree or pi by 3. So, third option that is option C is correct. Fourth, plane P3 passing through the point 4, 2, minus 2 and perpendicular to the line of intersection of P1 and P2, meaning the direction ratios of normal are same as obtained earlier 1, minus 1 and 1. So, simply we can write plane P3 as 1, minus 4, minus 1, y minus 2, plus 1, z plus 2 equals 0. That is x minus y plus z and the constant term we see here 4 minus and the other one is plus 4 cancelled out. So, this is equal to 0. This is the equation of plane P3. Question is about the distance of P3 from 2, 1, 1 is 2 by root 3. So, let us drop the perpendicular from 2, 1, 1. Therefore, length of perpendicular say small p is equal to 2 minus 1 plus 1 divided by root 3 
or is equal to 2 by root 3 units. So, option D is also correct. Hence, we can see the correct answer is given by option C and option D. So, this is clear. Now, moving to next question that is question number 4. 